today I'm going to talk you through my presentation for good credentials binding and we'll discuss the results that me and the mentors have achieved so far so far during the GSHRC 2021 program. So let's get started. So under the project overview, the project involves extending the credentials binding plugin to create custom bindings for two types of credentials, which are username password and as such private key. These bindings are then used to automate the authentication task when performing any Git operation using command line Git through Git, BAT or PowerShell in a pipeline job. Now, why these bindings were required or what was the motivation behind them? Firstly, when it comes on performing a Git operation using a pipeline script, there is not much support provided and the user had to depend on various workarounds to the credentials binding plugin or environment directive. So the solution was to use with credentials wrapper provided by credentials binding plugin, which would take the user's credential and supply them automatically when a Git operations ask for them during a user's authentication. Coming to the objectives of the project. So the first objective was to provide Git authentication support for HTTPS protocol and SSH protocol. Then comes the targeted audience, which were pipeline job users. Another requirement was that the binding should support command line Git version 1.8.3 and later. Also, it should be available. It sh should be available on different operating systems. The last one was that it should support not only a Jenkins controller but also a Jenkins agent. Now the results for phase one. So. During this phase, we were able to achieve Git authentication support for HTTPS protocol. And it was released as Git username password binding in Git plugin version 4.8.0. Also, these uh, this binding support uh, supported both freestyle project and pipeline jobs. The results for phase two. In this phase, we were able to achieve Git authentication support for SSH protocol. And the support for private key formats include uh, OpenSSH, PEM, and PKCS8. Also, uh, four encryption algorithms were supported, namely RSA, DSA, ECDSA, and ED25519. The support for pri private key formats and encryption algorithms are provided through the Bouncy Castle API plugin and SSHD plugin. This binding was also available for both freestyle projects and pipeline jobs. Now I'm going to showcase the demo. In the demo, I am going to showcase both the bindings. First, I am going to show the working of Git username and password binding in a freestyle project. So now we'll look in the configurations of this project. Uh, here I'm performing a simple Git checkout 
on a remote repository hosted on GitLab, which is a private repository. So as you can see, this is the repository that I'm using to perform the Git checkout. Now I'm using the Git user and password credentials to push a tag to the remote repository. So now we will build the project. So as we can see, the project was built successfully. And if we see here, there are three tags and now there are four. So the tag was successfully pushed. Now I will be showcasing the Git SSH private key binding. So I'm using a pipeline job for this. If we look at the configurations, I am using an agent, which is an Ubuntu machine to, to use this binding. So here I'm performing a simple Git clone operation on a repository, which is hosted on GitHub. And this repository also is also a private repository. So we will be building the job now. As you can see, the build is being performed for different private keys, which are using formats such as OpenSSH, PKCS8, and, and all these keys are encrypted with passphrase. So the build was successful and this shows that we were able to successfully clone the repository using private key binding. So this was the demo. So now moving on to the road head. So here the, we will be discussing the tasks that need some work even after the G-Shock program. So that includes adding more automated unit tests and making minor bug fixes and code improvements. But apart from all that, the major task is of releasing the Git SSH private key binding. And that's all for the presentation. Thank you.